the next song. Really, it's a change of paces because this is more sexual. <laughs> Dirty blue ladies, show me your cubic fluid. <laughs> Don't be late. Jack and Kate won't wait. Infantile suggestion causes me to fantasise. Elasticate the linear rate of the time. <laughs> play that because there's uh, people think that's just nonsense it's not no. because I'm getting a lot of I mean I just think that that's the new pornography you're right it's a sort of um, it's a snapshot of pornography isn't it really snatch <laughs> of pornography but I, I just think cubic roots is such a great expression. <laughs> and if it wasn't in that song, it'd be perfectly innocent. Like if I said, what's a cubic root of nine? Where is it? Ah, it is. You see, that's, that's oh, just the what's a square of that. Oh, shit. I knew that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Math spelling. <laughs> what's in that one? What is that? What's the cubic root then of uh, nine? Just out of interest. Well, it'd be... It'd be Decimal places and stuff like that. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll come back to that later. So, but in, in essence, this is about um, yeah. a porn film. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> next, I'm, just next trying to, I'm just trying to cover it up a bit in the lyrics. But anyway. But you know, you, at that age, that you do you do look at uh, filthy things and you regret it afterwards. Yeah. And then you look at them again. <laughs> 38. <laughs> you know, they, they invent the internet and you think, oh, oh god, yeah, well, I'm, just, I'm just doing some work on my own, but if I tap that internet explorer, the, the, the whole world of filth in there, and I, I could look at it if I wanted to, rather than finish this invoice, <laughs> but I don't. So what's the next song? The, oh, this is brilliant. We're going to be performing this, this is going to be one of the songs in the set in a minute. Um, how surprised that around my head, nine years ago I read a passing band to coach under the bed, but I still doubt around my head, I want to cure anything now, the coach under the bed, dead box. Tell us quick, what's going on? Very, here? very, very quickly, this is about being on the door. <laughs> Who's been on the door here? Hey. Hey. Look at that! That's amazing! Don't you want to kiss you? We've all been on the fucking door. <laughs> yeah, it's a rite of passage. <laughs> Trying to take that away from us as well. Fucking <laughs> okay, hell. Um, so it's mostly about the ennui of being on yeah, the door. Yeah, I mean, my experience of the door was uh, you're either at parties getting drunk or, and then I was in bed sleeping it off. And the only thing that woke me up in the bed was, because it was summer, the vans were going past the house. You've really got your loud, window open. Really loud. Because it's summer. Can't sleep. Can't sleep. It's summer. Yeah, it's summer. Can't Can sleep. I say it was summer, Joe? Can't, can't sleep. It's summer. And, um, Window open. And flies come in then, don't they? Oh. And they start landing on you and it wakes you up. Can I just say this, can I just say this point? That what, when John says... It, it, it almost makes it sound like Studio 54 in the late 70s. Being on the door, it's all parties. John's idea of a party in 1989, 1990, was, was going from the miners' arms and walking four fucking miles back to his house that he was just about to move out from. That had no electricity or water. And sitting in there without any cans. Why don't we had a creative brown ale that we, we got to have? You know, you know, and they say that they say that uh, you know romance and, and glamour is dead, and it's not. Perfect horse, John. You, exactly. Would you like a drink? Tough shit, we haven't got it. <laughs> okay, obviously a lot of the reasons that many of you are here are to see, meet, smell, touch, fondle, drope your idols. Um, I'd like to throw an opening to the audience. Has anyone got any? Quick, this is a very rare occasion. Uh, you're not going to get access to Spring Sting, it's not going to fucking happen. Beyonce, I ain't going to fucking turn up here. But this is your chance to put your questions to the band. Uh, hands up, you got a question? Oh, there's a young gentleman there. Young! Hi. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan, obviously. Big fan. And uh, the lyrical symposium that John went through there was quite inspirational. It was indeed, please. Another round of applause for John. Good, good 
Paul Banks take us through the lyrics of the classic song Bullet for Bomb? <laughs> <laughs> Bullet for Bomb, obviously one of those seminal tracks everyone yeah, knows. <laughs> I've got a bullet for both. Explain what it's about. Well, it was about. Um, it was, obviously, it was a very torn time in South Africa at the time. You know, it was, we were trying to be uh, with the with the kids and with the people. You, you know. two were shitting themselves at this point. <laughs> Fascist boot crew. <laughs> I've got a bullet for both of them. Hello, killing babies for fun. <laughs> Not in the head for mother, revolutionary son. Speak of you what your heart feels. Get ten years of prison meals. Oppressed blacks, try die and breathe. Poorly so, deadly metal scenes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're not hear that in your Any more questions? Questions on the floor, please. Put your hand up.
Just quickly, back to the local symposium. Why? Just quickly, why black oranges? Just um, the, the floor was the floor was lino, and it was like light orange. Hence the name. But I, Quite simple. I expected it to be some kind of a crunchy. I can't We're going to do a song called Yellow Pages now. Everybody like loud, loud, fast, sort of post-punk rubbish. Oh god, it's way to be anyway. Here we go.